Hey guys, how's it going? Making a video again just before I go on to work. Uh, <laughs> I think it was funny that the only comment that I got so far on that video was about my bookshelves. And yeah, I know that Brian Denlinger has bookshelves behind him, okay? But <clears throat> so do other people. And, uh, you know, the thing is that I have books that I study, and so I have bookshelves for them, and I think that it's a nice background, okay? And yeah, there's some inspiration from Brian Denlinger there, because I've watched a lot of his videos before. And, you know, I still watch it, whatever he uploads, but he went on the Patreon. And, um, you know, mostly I just want to expose a lot of stuff that he does now because he's just so far out there in his doctrines. But that doesn't mean that, you know, I don't appreciate some of the things with his style and his recording. And uh, he, I also liked how he would, when he would expose people or whatever, he would have like flames in the background of their videos. You know, I learned how to do that effect, and I've and I've done that before. And you know, that might be something that I'll do again. I thought that was kind of funny, kind of cool. You know, I got the whiteboard too, and I'm going to be using it. But it's got some nicks and scratches in it from when I uh, moved it. Unfortunately, I did kind of a careless way of moving it. But uh, brother got me some paint to fix it up, and so I'm going to try to get that together. So it's not too marred, too bad. And it doesn't even really show up on the camera that much, but I want to fix it if I can, what's on there. And uh, so I got some whiteboard paint, hopefully, that I'm just going to use in these scratched areas. And hopefully I'll still be able to write over it and erase it and everything. But, you know, if I use the whiteboard, people are going to say that Robert Breaker uses the whiteboard, and he does. But so do lots of other people. And, you know, it's a whiteboard. So uh, it doesn't matter who uses it or whatever. Um, but he's kind of an inspiration, you know, after I saw him using the whiteboard, I was like, that's a pretty cool idea, I'd like to have a whiteboard so I could draw illustrations and things like that, okay. I obviously, I don't teach the same things that Brian Denlinger and Robert Breaker do, okay, they're, they're Rachmanite doctrines. So I try to teach the truth of the Bible, and, um, I know that's what they try to do, but they're very off. So... I'm going to have lots of different uh, angles and stuff, and I said that in the other video, that I'm going to record from different areas of my apartment. You know, I meant that, you know, I'll record myself at the computer, I'll record myself, you know, which they do too now. They use the uh, the Camtastic program, and they record themselves while they're surfing the internet or whatever. Brian Denlinger is doing his ESV thing, where he's comparing the ESV to the KJV, and he's uh, using that. And, you know, so if I use that, then some people would say that, you know, I was the same. It doesn't matter what I do that somebody's going to say somebody else has already done it or whatever else. Ryan Denling has recorded a lot of videos outside, and I think that's really nice where he's got these wooded areas and stuff where he's recording. And I want to do that, and I plan to do that this summer to get out and uh, record outside. And so people might see Brian Denlinger in that, too. That's just because we watched a lot of Brian Denlinger or whatever. Okay, but I mean, I'll admit that there is some inspiration there too, so that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, with me having this book as a backdrop. It doesn't matter if I had the plain white wall as a backdrop, okay? Um, you know, Brian Denlinger had his wall for a backdrop for a while too, so uh, it's just, you know, I think it's nicer to have the books than to have the wall, and, uh, you know, but I'm trying to, going to try to be creative and think of different things here. But basically, you know, I'll be at the computer, at a table, or at, uh, you know, with the... I've got the whiteboard that I'll use. And, you know, I've got the bookshelves. I've got the muslin backdrop, uh, which needs washed. It's really dirty. So I'm going to wash it, and I'm going to end up using it. And uh, But I'm going to show my study room. Uh, sometime probably today I'll record or something and kind of show you how my study room is now and uh, I need to get that that backdrop washed and I can have that in my closet now really easily and pull it out anytime so it's a pretty awesome study room here now but um and brother bought these extra bookshelves for me I had two bookshelves before I moved and I made a video with them and the first bookshelf that I built I didn't do so good, and uh, it was, when I moved, it basically fell apart. It was it was being held together just by being stuck in the corner by the other bookshelf. 
And so I tried to salvage it. I've actually got it in my bedroom, like the upper half of it, so it's still usable somewhat, but it's just, you know, it's not the full-size bookshelf anymore. So brother bought two more bookshelves because I really needed another one. Because As you can already see, I mean, they're pretty much... I filled up two of them, so, and I know that I was going to have more books in the future. I, when I go to thrift stores and stuff, you know, I look, not as much as I used to, uh, but there's also some books online that I've still wanted that uh, I'll still probably get, I know, whenever I get the money, whenever I work for UPS or whatever, um, and so, uh, that's, I hope that you'll see more color come out from me. You'll see more of my personality. And uh, as I get more comfortable making videos, you know, I'll be more lively and stuff. I know right now I'm kind of tired. I've actually got to go into work. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> not really enthused right now. But I am very excited about making videos and getting into the Word of God and um, just getting out there and working on the website more because I've it's just been I've been you know just depressed for months and recently it's just been moving I've been excited that I've had a place but it's just been moving and so now like everything's settled but uh, somebody on work at work is on vacation so I have to work a lot of nights and that's fine uh, I can still make a lot of videos even during the day before I go to work I can do a lot of studying so and hopefully I will this week but even more so on my days off uh, but I'm going to try to do what I can. I'm going to be excited, you know, when I get off work today, I'm going to think about what am I going to study, what can I make some videos on. And it's probably going to be Calvinism that I want to go after first. So I said that. But, um, you know, I want to finish Romans 9. That might be something that will be on my days off next week. Maybe I'll try to finish up on Romans 9 and give a complete expository verse by verse of Romans 9. But until then, it's probably going to be skipping around different verses of Calvinism. I've got a sheet printed out um, of like every verse that Calvinists use to support their doctrines. And I want to go over each and every one of those. So that's a good starting point for me. That's something easy to say, okay, here's a bunch of verses. You know, I'll just pick and choose some here and there. And, you know, I've got the... Uh, this is kind of like my Calvinist section up here where I've got... R.C. Sproul's um, study Bible. He's a Calvinist. I've got John MacArthur's study Bible. He's a Calvinist. And then I've got books on Calvinism by Dave Hunt and um, by Vance. This is one of the main books refuting Calvinism, the other side of Calvinism. I've got all of John MacArthur's books. No, I don't have all of his books, but I mean, I've got a lot of his books here. The Gospel of Jesus and stuff. I think a lot of this stuff is good, but since he's a Calvinist, some of his Calvinism is tied in there. But I basically put these up here just because he is a Calvinist. But, you know, so the rest of them are MacArthur books. But I've been studying for a long time Calvinism. And, you know, I always wanted to study for, like, these mega teachings, so I just hold off on going over things. But now I'm just going to go over things little by little. You know, I'm going to throw stuff out there a lot, so... But this is R.C. Sproul's study Bible, and I've made these um, notes in here. I've put, uh, he has these sections on the tulip on here. I noted these where he has, you know, this one's on depravity, and you can't really see it. All you can see is it, the book's like white on the video screen. But he has one on free will here, and I highlighted all that stuff on predestination. And I'm going through each of these verses. Like I said, I have all the verses that Calvinists use. And so I'm checking out to see what, Macar what Sproul says about it. And I'm going to see what MacArthur says about it, too. Um, and so... Pretty interesting. <laughs> Let's see, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. And this is the New King James. And I think that uh, John MacArthur's is the New King James, too. 
but this is a verse that they'll use, and it says, Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to praise of the glory of his grace, by which he made us accepted in the beloved. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world. And so they try to say, you know, that he chose, that God chose people in Christ before they were created um, without considering their free will. They were just chosen to be, to be saved before being created. And, um, but, you know, the true understanding would be that, uh, <laughs> this is hard to get back in here, that those who believe those who were going to believe were chosen in Christ. Those who were, cho who were going to believe of their own free will. And so, uh, Calvinists deny free will. But yeah, I'm going to go over that more. And uh, so Ephesians 1.4, that's a verse that the Calvinists will try to use. There's a different misunderstanding of it from them. And uh, I want to talk more about this brother who <clears throat> turned over to Calvinism, unfortunately. But, yeah, I'm just blabbing on. And that's going to be how some of the videos are for now until I get more into more into studying. But I'm, I'm going to get into some scripture today. Uh, probably watch some debates again on Calvinism. <clears throat> and take some notes and uh, look over what I've got on my website already. And... Um, a long time, a long time ago, a sister gave me uh, some study stuff, uh, like markers and stuff, and she gave me these little note cards, you know. And so I'm going to start using these, and I'm just going to write, you know, a few verses on them or whatever, or just little notes I'm going to go over in each video. And so whenever I go over something and I'm like okay I understand this a little bit and I'm gonna make a video about it and then I'll do it again and again and I'm gonna make multiple videos in a day but anyways I'm just saying just expect that I guess so you'll know if anybody watches this and uh, you start seeing videos you'll know but man it's never fun having to get ready to go for work is it I mean some nights Maybe you look forward to it because it's kind of like a escape from the things that are going on in your life and your personal life, and then you got your work life. But uh, and then some nights it's just like uh, I don't want to go in. You know, those nights are probably more often than not, right? But it's got to be done, and you know I do enjoy my job. You know, there can be frustrating things about it some nights more than others you never know what to expect with my job but uh, it's pretty easy and it's pretty laid back so I can't really complain these are things to work out your wrists which I would suggest them <laughs> you can buy these on Amazon these little grip exercisers and they'll work out your forearm a lot uh, so I've been using them for quite a while and I'm using right now I should probably get a set of the same ones, but it doesn't really matter. But I've got one for 60 and 50 here. And then uh, they go up to 80, so i got one for 70 and 80 pounds too. Those things are tough. I'd like to work my way up to the 80 one. It's black, and it's like I can't budge it at all. The one that's 70, I can budge a little bit. So I'm trying to work out a lot too, but um, I'm going to get into that more. And uh, I'm going to be kind of transparent and show different things, too, um, in my life, you know. Um, but I want to, you know, get into the scripture, obviously. This is a ministry, and this is what it's about. But <clears throat> don't be surprised if you see lots of videos on different things, just like other people do. Uh, but I'm not going to be charging for my videos or putting them on Patreon or anything like that. Okay, I'm not going to be closing my comments. Okay, and that doesn't mean that I'll necessarily reply to every comment or go through my comments all the time either because sometimes, you know, there's just lots of comments. And, you know, 
I guess if I feel compelled to, or if, I, if I'm on at the right time, or whatever, I see somebody comment and I want to say something back, but I'm not going to reply to every comment. It's just not going to happen. And, uh, you know, my videos don't get lots of comments right now, so it's probably more likely that I'll reply now than in the future if there's ever more of them. Oh, work, work, work. I'm going to upload this video before I go into work. And then when I get off, I don't know, I'll probably take a nap or something. But I'm going to be making videos again. And so, uh, but hopefully I'll be in a more chipper mood in the afternoon or whatever. But even on my work days, it's kind of like a gloomy mood all day because I know that i got to get some sleep and i got to go into work again. <laughs> but, you know, there's a little bit of time there to enjoy. Yeah, there's a lot of time to enjoy, really, but uh, I work overnights, so maybe I haven't said that or it hasn't really come across because people have no idea what time it is here or anything, but yeah, you know, I love the Word of God, and so this is my life, like I've said many times, and uh, it's really going to show now, and I hope that things continue to go well, but I said that this ministry is going to be on fire in that video, I titled that, just because I'm so excited, but, you know, I think that hopefully people start paying more attention, you know, but i got to put things out there for people to pay attention, and I wouldn't be surprised if more and more people are going to try to expose me or rebuke me or whatever, and sometimes, maybe rightfully so, and sometimes... You know, they won't be because, you know, there might be people who are like oneness Pentecostals that are going to try to expose my Trinity doctrine or something. Like, you know, there's a whole thing going on with Stephen Anderson and the guy who left his church, Tyler Baker, who's teaching oneness heresy, which I made a video about already and exposed him. Or, you know, I went over every scripture that he used and whatever and corrected him. I guess maybe that's a better term. Uh, he kind of exposed himself, I guess. But, you know, Stephen Anderson's right on that. I mean, he said some things wrong in the past about the Trinity, but generally, at least, he does have a good understanding of the Trinity. And he's making these Trinity videos, these Trinity moments and stuff. And I like things like that. He's making these short videos that are to the point. You know, he has, like, a black background, and he's in a suit, and he's just saying, you know giving a verse here and there and explaining the Trinity, you know. And I'd kind of like to do some things like that, some doctrinal videos that are straight to the point, and that's kind of stuff that I'd like to have on my website. So that's what's going to come in the future. That's what I have in mind. Uh, that's what I've always had in mind, but I just haven't had the motivation and, and everything else to, to do stuff like that. The freedom, necessarily, you know. There's a lot of restrictions that are lifted off me now. You know, I've got a vehicle, I've got a job, you know, i got money in my own place. And so, uh, which, you know, I'm going to be paying all the bills, so not a lot of money, but his brother's helped me out recently tremendously with all these things <clears throat> that I'll show probably, but, you know, just tables and just uh, stands for the whiteboard, paint for the whiteboard to fix it, these bookshelves, and, um, you know, I got a longer cable for my... Uh, webcam that I'm actually having on a stand now. That's really easy. I can move it from one end of the room to the other. The whiteboard, I'm staring at the whiteboard right now. It's in front of me, so. Uh, but I'll probably be using this bookshelf as a backdrop for a little while, just because it's really easy to come in here, turn this on, record a video like this. Uh, but then I'll start getting more creative. And I have another camera, too, which I'll probably have in the other room, so maybe I'll do that today, some videos there or something. Anyways, I gotta be getting ready to go to work for in a little bit, so love you guys and yes, Brian Denlinger does have bookshelves, but so what? I don't care. I'm not Brian Denlinger. But uh I like the bookshelves in the background and it's really easy for me to pull things out if needed or whatever. So anyways, that's gonna be it. God bless. And uh make some better videos soon.